This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. In the wake of COVID-19, we appeal to our listeners not to lower the guard, take all precautions and all those above 45 years of age who have taken the first dose of COVID-19 vaccine to get vaccinated with the second dose at the scheduled time. Stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing, Focus on hand and face hygiene. National helplines are operational for providing COVID-related information and guidance to the people. The national helpline number is 011-239-78046 and 011-239-71075 and the helpline for Meghalaya is 108 and 1070. And now the news in detail. Inner Sam rescue operations is continuing in the Brahmaputra at Nemati Ghat in Jorhat district following a major boat mishap yesterday. The Chief Executive Officer of the Assam State Disaster Management Authority, J.D. Tripathi, said that as per se recent information, two persons are still missing, while 87 persons have been rescued. One female passenger died and several other passengers swam safely ashore. He, however, didn't rule out that more passengers would have swum to safer places or some of them are still missing. Mr. Tripathi said that there was no loss to anyone travelling in the ferry which hit the boat that capsized. Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma will visit the site today. Two ministers and several officials have already reached the spot to oversee rescue operations. Three officials of the Inland Water Transport Department have been suspended and inquiry has been ordered into the boat tragedy. In a significant boost to the Naga peace process, the centre has entered into a ceasefire agreement with National Socialist Council of Nagaland, K. Nikki Group, for a period of one year. More than 200 cadres of this group, along with 83 weapons, joined the peace process. The ceasefire agreement and agreed ceasefire ground rules were signed yesterday. The central government has already signed a framework agreement with NSC and IM and ceasefire agreements with other Naga groups, namely NSC and NK, NSC and R, and NSC and K Congo. Meghalaya reported four COVID-19 related deaths, including that of three unvaccinated persons yesterday, tallying the fatalities to 1,337. The state also recorded 191 new COVID-19 cases, taking the active cases up to 1,888. Also, 228 more recoveries from the viral infection surged the number of recovered cases to 74,246. Till yesterday, 10,40,658 persons had taken the first dose and 3,37,122 persons were fully vaccinated with the second dose of COVID-19 vaccine in Meghalaya. In Manipur, 268 persons, including 10 personnel of the Central Armed Police Force, were confirmed as new COVID-19 positive cases yesterday. Three persons expired due to COVID-19 infection. One of them had taken the first dose of COVID-19 vaccine. The cumulative death toll is 1,805. Meanwhile, 269 more COVID-19 patients were discharged from health centers after recovery. The recovery rate is 95.72%. The active cases stands at 3,004. The number of doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered till yesterday is 1,57,059.51, including 3,78,935 second dose. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma yesterday said that the state government would form a three-member cabinet committee to discuss and resolve all issues of the tribal people. The Chief Minister said this while taking part in a review meeting with the representatives of Coordination Committee of Tribal Organizations of Assam. Altogether, 24 students and social organizations of the scheduled tribe communities submitted a memorandum to the Chief Minister underscoring 10 demands. 
These included preservation of tribal belt and blocks, land rights of forest dwellers, filling up of backlog posts, constitutional status to tribal autonomous councils. In our Azadi Kamrit Mauts of India at 75 quiz with All India Radio News Shillong, here is a question for this week, during which movement Vande Mataram became the theme song of the Indian National Movement. Send us your answers along with your full name and address to ddorrnushillong at gmail.com. Winners will be announced in the next episode of our Amrit Mahotsav quiz with All India Radio News. Last week, the question was, who designed India's national flag? And the correct answer is Pingali Vinkaya. We received a number of responses from our listeners and the winner is Rio Kongrom. And with that, we end the Northeast News from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.